just thought I'd make a short video uh, regarding how to fit a pop-up waste. Um, it's not really how to, it's, it's basically a product that I use that's, that eradicates the need for uh, silicon or plumber's mate or anything like that uh, when you're fitting actual waste and it's, well I've used them for a good long time now, I, they never leak. Um, it's a product called the Dudley Seal Kit, very cheap, uh, very inexpensive um, and it's guaranteed you know, never to leak. Uh, so in this short video I will show how to fit one. Um, these seal kits are available from uh, Screwfix or Amazon. I will leave links in the description if you're interested. Uh, but we'll go through the video first and show you how it's fitted. Yeah, obviously these wastes can be fitted in situ. Uh, you know, if your basin's you know secured to the wall and you just need to renew one. Uh, but in this demonstration here, this is a new one that I'm going to be fitting uh, to a bathroom renovation that I'm doing. Um, so this the ceramic uh, basin actually comes off. So I'll take that off. And run through the demonstration just to it makes it easier to film and easier to see what I'm doing. Okay. Right guys, this is the standard pop-up waste will be fitting. Um, this is a slotted pop-up waste. Um, the slot is just uh, to enable the water to go from there into the overflow. So these just it's a clicker, so you press the button, it clicks up. Press it down, it closes obviously. And these come supplied with a foam washer, which we keep uh, in this instance. So basically this will go into the, the basin from this side. And uh, normally you would just use, this is the washer you would get in the kit with this uh, pop-up waste, which we're going to discard. But normally it would go up underneath the, the basin and a screw would, uh, not would tighten this up. And it's supposed to be a seal, which it never does, and um, that's why you always use like a silicon or plumber's mate, you know, putty underneath the, the basin. Normally to give you a, a half decent seal. Uh, but the product I'm talking about is the the Dudley seal kit. Which is this. Just get this over here, sorry. Essentially in the kit, uh, the Dudley seal kit, you get uh, this rubber washer. Uh, you get this another plastic washer which goes underneath and you get another obviously the, the, the nut that fits on the bottom of the waste and I'll show you how these fit together just now. Okay so essentially this is how these fit together. Uh, we've got the waste, we've obviously retained the foam washer as I said and this would be underneath the basin so we'll have the you know the cone washer that's supplied in the kit, the plastic washer that Enables the, the nut to push up against that and tighten it up against the okay, and that's all there is to it. So we slip this through the top of the basin, go underneath, fit that washer, fit this washer and tighten that up and it'll never leak. Uh, I'll show you how we do that now. It's worth noting that the only issue with this kit is this rubber washer can sometimes be very difficult to push up the thread um, to you know to get your initial uh, position before you tighten up these nuts. Um, what does help is uh, washing up liquid or you know any sort of uh, soapy detergent. Smear it all over the thread, smear it on the inside of the rubber here, and then it just slips up. Um, that's, that's what I found helps. Okay, so here's our basin. Uh, if you notice in the, the back of the basin, you can see the slot here, and that's the actually the overflow. So what we need to do with the pop-up waste is line up the slot with this in line with the overflow in the basin. Uh, sim a simple case of, you have the foam washer underneath this, uh, just slip that in position, it will fit neatly in position. Then we can go to the underside of the basin and fit the components that I showed you. Right guys, that's it. this is the, the base of the basin now. Um, so here's the bottom of the pop-up waste that we put through. All I've done is slip this rubber on. Uh, with a narrow end at the top, uh, going into the joint there. Obviously, use suitable detergent just to <laughs> lubricate the, the threads and the rubber, and then that way we can wrestle it down. So, you fit that on, and then next, you just put the plastic washer on top of that. That just fits snugly on top. And I'll have a side view of that. 
So the rubber washer is now under there, we've got the plastic washer. And then all we do now is uh, put the plastic nut on. Before you tighten it fully, just again check that you've got your slot, the slotted waste, the slot should be in there. Here's the overflow, uh, overflow from the basin. Just make sure the slot is lined up with that and hold this in position whilst you tighten, tighten the nut. But once you get that installed, uh, this tightened down, um, you will not get a leak. You know, there's, there's absolutely no need for plumber's mate or silicon or anything like that. Um, obviously, if you use a, you know, the supplied plastic uh, rubber washer like this, that, that's when the plumber's mate and everything comes into play. But these kits are fantastic. Okay, it's just a side view of the actual washer under the basin, so you can see you can see the taper, uh, you know, going into the bottom of the basin. And once if you can imagine this being tightened down. Uh, you can just see how, why that wouldn't leak, as opposed to the flat washer. Right, so there's a waste fitted. Uh, I filled it with water uh, just to test it. Uh, as expected, it's absolutely bone dry under underneath the, the vanity unit here. There's the waste there. Absolutely zero sea went down there. Uh, no plumber's mate. No plumber's gold, no magic uh, mastic whatsoever. Just a simple uh, seal kit from Dudley. Right, I've had that sitting for a good five minutes now, and um, there's absolutely no leak whatsoever. Um, not that I, th I thought there would be, but you always need to check. Um, so now we'll just. This is the, the pop up waste, just click, push. Guys, that's it. Hopefully you got some value out of that. Uh, again, the, the kit that's featured in this video is the Dudley Seal Kit, available from Screwfix and Amazon. I will leave uh, links in the description for that. Um, all I need to say now is if you, if you enjoy this type of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel, where I do have a lot more videos of this nature. Uh, please give the video a like, um, share it where possible. Um, that would be much appreciated. And Hopefully we can join you in the next video. Okay, thanks again.